Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Duh. 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 That was my impression of user account control. Oh, UAC. How we hate you. Well, it's still around in Windows 7, at least in Windows 7 Beta Build 7000, as I have running here on my HP Touch Smart PC. And uh, the good news is that now UAC has selectable controls. So instead of just being an all or nothing thing, as UAC is inside of Windows Vista, and that's frustrating, uh, you can now, um, well, well, let me dive further into it. So let's uh, click the Start button, go to Control Panel, and User Accounts. Then we go into Change User Account Control Settings. My finger sometimes is a little too fat. And now I've got the slider bar. So either I can turn it to always notify, that's the classic UAC setting, or turn it to no never notify. And there are a couple of settings in between as well. So my recommendation is that you keep the default uh, for a while, and if it's too intrusive, slide it down one. And if that's still too intrusive, then slide it to never notify. But the default setting for UAC now is don't notify me when I make changes to Windows settings. Uh, the next level down uh, still lets you not be notified uh, when you make Windows settings, but it won't uh, gray out the screen as UAC is prone to do, at least inside of Windows Vista or with these other settings. If you're a novice user or you're setting up Windows 7 for a novice uh, or someone who's not really quite familiar with the way Windows works, my suggestion is actually to bump up UAC to always notify. Uh, that's when programs try to install software or make changes to the computer or uh, when someone makes changes to the Windows settings that they may uh, not uh, realize they're making changes to that could potentially uh, screw up something in their system. Uh, so it's very nice to see that uh, UAC has been casually refined. I'm sure a lot of thought has gone into uh, this and it's, it's kind of cool. Uh, there's a little UAC uh, little icon uh, on the OK button here. I'm going to go back to the default setting and press OK. I didn't really change anything and UAC didn't uh, prompt me at all. So uh, I, I've noticed that on a few of the uh, UAC enabled buttons or features uh, since I have it at the default setting. I've only been prompted when installing drivers to this point. Um, even if I right click my computer on the default setting, I can do this. No, let's try it again. It's kind of sometimes it's a bit difficult to uh, to do it with. It. I'm going to try it with this. I'm right-handed and I was trying to do it with my left hand. Uh, manage. No UAC when I go to manage the computer, which is very, very nice. Oh, uh, that that was one of the things that annoyed me a, a lot about uh, you know using Windows Vista and UAC is that there just wasn't enough control over it. This isn't perfect; it's not total granularity, but it's better than all or nothing as it was in Vista. So consider keeping UAC turned on default. Uh, when you start using Windows 7. And there's no reason to not start using Windows 7, at least on a knockaround machine or as a secondary uh, operating system. I don't know if I'd say it's primary uh, um, uh, material yet. This is beta build 7000, which is available for Microsoft. I don't know if they're going to be releasing any other betas before it goes RTM or goes gold or is released to manufacturing. That's what RTM stands for. Um, but it's, it's worth a shot. Uh, start playing with it. If you have any other tips and tricks to pass along or any other things that you've noti noticed about Windows 7 as you started to use it, feel free to. My email address is chris at perillo.com. Uh, you're also welcome to join us in our community of geeks at geeks.perillo.com. And then, of course, you're also welcome to join us in the chat room. Uh, we're typically talking tech, including about Windows 7, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.